What's up guys, it's Seth. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you six maps that I made using the spring traps and teleporters in the map maker. So these maps will show you a bunch of concepts that you can use for making your own fun maps that you can play with your friends. So some of these maps are just fun maps you can play in friendly games, but if you want some good maps that you can use to publish and hopefully get your map published into the rotation, then I have a couple of those maps too, which I've published myself, which I think could be good for actual competitive gameplay. So without any further ado, let's show you my six maps. So the first map I just called jump pads because it's literally just jump pads covering a whole entire showdown map. And you've probably seen this map before done by other YouTubers, but I wanted to try this for myself. And when I was making this map, at first I thought I would just be able to horizontally and vertically mirror everything so that I would only have to place down a quarter of the jump pads on the map and everything else would mirror, but that wasn't the case because if you do that, there will be a gap going straight down the middle vertically and horizontally between the jump pads so that it won't be as fun because you can just run along in that little gap and not get launched. So. If you're gonna make a map like this, you're gonna have to put down every single jump pad individually, and then you have to go through and click each jump pad one to seven times to rotate them all different directions so they're not facing the same way. So this map took a lot longer than I originally thought it would have taken, but this map is really fun, and if you stop moving at all, you're gonna get launched, and once the smoke starts closing in, if you step on the wrong jump pad, you can get launched into the smoke, and it's just so unpredictable and really fun to play with your friends, and you can play 8-bit so you're all really slow, and you can't get out of the way of the jump pads, so this map is just a really fun map, and you should definitely try it out if you feel like making it and putting in the time to put down all the jump pads. But my second map is similar to this map, except I call this map Jump Pad Maze. So you'll start out by spawning by four jump pads facing all the same directions. So only one of the jump pads will take you down a path which eventually leads to the middle, but three of the jump pads will take you down a path where you'll eventually get stuck in an enclosure and eventually the smoke will close in and kill you. But what you do on this map is you pick a jump pad and once you get launched, you can't walk at all. And so it'll launch you, you'll land on another jump pad, and then that'll launch you to another jump pad, and it'll keep going until it eventually shoots you into the middle of the map or onto the outside into an enclosed space. So this is a really fun map for you to make and then challenge your friends. They can all pick a jump pad and you'll see which one of them can make it to the middle. So you can make this map however you want. You can come up with a lot of different ideas for how to make this map better or different than mine. But this map is a really awesome map to play with your friends. And now my third map is similar to this one, but it's called Ultimate Maze. And basically it's just a really hard maze with jump pads and teleporters. And the goal is to get to the center of the map where all the boxes are. You're not allowed to use gadgets or supers because you could play Surge or Brock and just teleport or jump to the middle of the map. You're also not allowed to play Dynamite because you could just use Dyna Jump and jump to the middle. So I tried to make this map as hard as possible and there are so many routes you can take, but there's only one route that's gonna take you to the center. The rest of them, you'll get caught somewhere on the edge of the map and eventually die to the smoke. So I challenged a couple of my friends to try to complete this map and they tried a bunch of times, but eventually we decided to move on to playing another map. But you can come up with your own ultimate map and try to make it as hard as possible and see if your friends can beat it. So my fourth map and my final fun map before we get to the map that you could actually make and hopefully get published, I call this map Jumpin' Center. So it's a showdown map, but there are a bunch of enclosed areas and the only way to get to another part of the map is by using jump pads. So you'll all spawn in your own little enclosure and then you can take a jump pad to jump to more enclosures and then eventually you can jump to the center where most of the boxes are gonna spawn. This map is really good for playing tanks or short range brawlers because 
Most of the time, you're going to be right up close to people, and there's really no place to use a long range brawler. But there's a bunch of different layouts you could make using this concept of enclosing off areas and then using jump pads to jump to other places. And if you play someone like Colt or Shelly and you can get your super, you can break gaps in between areas. And if you're playing Colt, that could be good because Colt is long range. So once you break open an area, you have more range to shoot other brawlers. So this map is an awesome map, but it might not be for everybody. So now I'm going to show you the two maps that I publish to be in the daily map rotation. And the first map, I call it Chaos Center. So it's a showdown map, and the center of the map is closed off by rope fences and walls. So the only way to get to the center is either breaking the walls or using jump pads and teleporters. So there's a teleporter on each edge of the map and then a spring trap on each corner of the map and they all lead to the center. And then in the center of the map, there's four spring traps and four teleporters that'll take you back outside of the center. So in the center is where all the boxes spawn and it can get pretty chaotic if a lot of people go to the center. And also the teleporters are too far apart to see who's gonna be waiting for you on the other side. I really enjoy playing this map and I did publish this, but it hasn't been in the rotation yet because today's only gonna be gem grab. I'm gonna show you my gem grab map in just a minute, but you can make a map like this with teleporters and spring traps in a bunch of different ways. This is just a basic concept to get you started. So that's the showdown map that I published and my gem grab map, I call nine of diamonds. So this map is basically nine diamonds on the gem grab map but there's also some teleporters. So there's a red teleporter that'll take you from your side of the map to the enemy side of the map. And then there are some green and yellow teleporters that'll switch you between lanes on your side of the map. This is a concept that I thought about and that I wanted to put into a map. And I think this would be a cool concept if they eventually add siege to the map maker, because in some siege maps, you have three lanes all closed off so unless you have a gadget where you can go over walls, it's really hard to switch lanes. But if you had teleporters like this, where you can teleport to your other lane, so if you're in siege and a bolt spawns in a different lane and you wanna quick get over there, you can teleport. I think this is a really cool concept. You could probably use this in a lot of maps, including heist and bounty, but this is the gem grab map that I published but those are all six of my map ideas using spring traps and teleporters. I also made a video of five other maps without spring traps and teleporters that you can check out. I'll have that linked at the end of the video and in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and like. And if you know someone who would enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you share it with them. And also comment down below what your favorite map concept was. But thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.